All right, good afternoon, folks. Here we are. I'm kind of a testing and checking my system. It was built several weeks ago, and uh, right now uh, it's pushing in about 12 amps in my system. You can see it right there. About 12 amps going into my battery pack. It's about 2 p.m. Very sunny. Battery are pretty much full. I think that they are about 53, close to 54 volts. We can check that in a second where they are. But the issue is originally when I installed these batteries, the voltage was all over. I mean, during the charging process. After, you know, after 10 or more cycles, it seems like they are getting very close to each other so let's find out what's going on because that's very important I'm using that guy there uh, probably you've seen it upside down it's a DALI 100 amp 48 volts it's a regular DALI there's no USB or anything or Bluetooth or nothing so whatever this guy is doing uh, I don't know maybe the Chinese people will know what who developed this unit they might know what they're doing what it's doing obviously we have an idea and uh, but you know we need to check and that's what I'm been doing lately and you know testing and checking what the voltage is for each battery each individual battery so we'll see let's take a deep look into that Alright, so I'm back here. I'm gonna be checking the voltage. So let's see. Let's see, you see that those are millivolts that are floating as, as quick as so I close the contact. Yep, zero. Now I'm gonna be measuring the total voltage on my battery system. And don't worry about the whether it's negative or positive. Uh, let's see. Let me do this one with the positive and negative thinking about it and right now it's about 54.1 and the BMS cut pretty much every day at 55.7 55.8 so that's why it's still allowing current to go in I have a, a small solar system about 1400 watts and today is at this time it's about 215 is pushing about 1200 watts and the inverter is using uh, is powering several piece of equipment so the uh, the amount of current left is about 12 amps that is going into the batteries so now let's check let's check each individual battery and let's see what happening the first battery this is battery number one uh, was always the smaller <clears throat> the smaller voltage was this one three point let's see what we got whoops I mean problem here there we go three point three seven nine so let's check the other one battery number two three point three seven nine that's battery two perfect right in the money third battery three point three seven nine that's battery number three Battery number four, three point three seven nine. Battery number five. Mhm. Mm battery number six. Perfect. <sighs> battery. Let's see if I can get this right. Battery number seven. Only one millivolt above battery number A. Perfect. Battery number nine. Let's see if I can this. Perfect. Battery number ten. Yep. Battery number eleven. Mm hmm. Battery 12. Yeah. 
13. Mm -hmm. One millivolt, I mean, yeah, one millivolt less than the others, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Battery, this is uh, 14, perfect. Fifteen. Last one. Three point three seven eight. So, wow, this is perfect. So, in other words, uh, after many cycles, the BMS is starting to do a great, great job. Seems like the stay of charge of each battery is now equal and there's only a difference of less than 2 millivolts do I need the active balancer? Uh, nope not in this case all batteries are perfect they are well aligned again they started bad I mean the voltage was all over in one point in time differences of about 200 millivolts first cycle Second cycle, I don't know, I never stopped to measure it. I let the BMS, you know, mature for a while. And I would say after 10 equalization, maybe maybe it was done sooner, but since I didn't measure it, I, I wouldn't not have an idea. But when I start to measure it again, thinking that I would be installing an active balancer, uh, voltage start to get better uh, to the point that there's only two millivolts difference through the charging process. Uh, there are folks that might need the active balancer, but since I'm adding about, I would say in, in a very sunny day, I might add like about 20 amps, and uh, and that's almost like one fifth of what the, the, this BMS will handle. So, meaning that the BMS is really cruising with the amount of current that it's working on. So it probably have enough time to equalize everything the way it should be. Uh, the, the charging process has always been perfect from day one. When I, you know, after completing the first cycle, I measured the discharge process and everything was within one millivolt difference. Excellent. Was the charging process was, was a little bit off, but again, I can't complain at this point. It's more than two weeks already with this system and it's working like a charm every day pro providing renewable energy the way it was designed to be again this was a quick update I don't take any more time of you and I definitely thank you for your attention and as always have a great day and as I always say uh, be safe whatever be your final destination bye